I'm a big fan of the first Last of Us game, part one. I played the first game ever since it came out 10 years ago. It's almost the 10th anniversary when the original game came out on the PS3. And I played that game from the ground up because I knew it was made from Nutty Dog, from the people that made the Uncharted franchise. And I loved it when it first came out. It was such an incredible, emotional, character-driven story taking place in an apocalyptic world about Joel and Ellie going on a, a mission to the fireflies because Ellie is the key to saving the human race and it was it was not just relying on a bunch of the undead of the infection zombies it was not something that we've seen many times before they focus on storytelling and characters and it was dark and emotional especially in the opening prologue which it set the tone for what the story is going to be and I played it through the PS4 remastered. And then when I've heard, and there has been many over the years that, that, that many studios have been trying to get this uh, adaptation greenlit as a movie. It was originally going to be a film. And there's been, and it's been setting back with so many delays over the years. But now that HBO has finally picked it up and decided to get this thing greenlit and they hired on Craig, and I can't pronounce his last name, but this is the guy who was the showrunner from that limited HBO series, Chernobyl, which I know a lot of people is one of the most critically well-received of show of all time, but I I still have not seen Chernobyl. I, I will eventually get around to watching that show because I because I heard nothing but great things about it. And then you're bringing Neil Druckmann, the creator and the director of The Last of Us Part 1, who understands the world, who understands the, 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 the whole with the characters. It was a great to have him bring him on who understands it and have a collaboration together and after hearing the casting that Pietro Pascal was going to be cast as Joel he was not the character he was not the actor I had in mind for him to play Joel because I thought what what Troy Baker did in the first game was incredible I love Troy Baker's performance and I love Ashley Johnson who played Ellie I thought the two of them together in the chemistry and the father and daughter uh, dynamic was incredible in the game but, but I was so glad that Pietro Pascal was cast. I think he is an incredible fit to play Joel. Even though he wasn't my first choice, but he was a great choice to pick. And Bella Ramsey, from the girl that you may have known from Game of Thrones, which I thought she was great in it, she was one of the actresses that I didn't have in mind that she would play Ellie. I didn't really see her as Ellie. But then seeing the trailers and, and then the promos and all... I was like, you know what? She's a very talented actress. I'm willing to give her a chance, and I think she would crush it. And then going into the first season of The Last of Us, I will tell you this. This is easily the best video game adaptation they have done in recent years. Arguably probably the best one. Because over the years, there are many times when the studios try to like really tackle a video game adaptation, and most of them sucked. Now, with the exception with the original Mortal Kombat, was, which I thought the original Mortal Kombat was great, even though it wasn't a, a great movie, but it was a very awesome to watch. I love the original Mortal Kombat. And in Detective Pikachu movie that came out a few years ago, which not enough people have gone to see it, which I was one of the people I thought was a very underrated movie, and it was a, one of the better video game adaptation. I... I, you can really count for The Witcher because The Witcher was technically was from the video games, but it was originally from the novel first. So yeah, the novel came first before the game did. So it sort of is a video game adaptation. Those are some of the things I will make an exception. But like I said before, The Last of Us is definitely the best video game adaptation that we've had. And I hope that other studios can learn something from it and take notes because they really stayed faithful to the whole world of The Last of Us and stay true to who the characters are from what we saw in the video game. And yes, there's a lots of like alterations of the changes from the show that aren't in the game. And I kind of get why that Craig and Neil Druckmann did. Just because that they still wanted to bring in some of the newcomers who have never played the video game. That want to go in the show with a fresh mind. And for, for those of you who have played the game, like myself. You can still go in with a fresh, with a fresh experience. There's going to be a, some... Part plot points in the show that were so changed that were not in the show, you're still going to get a fresh experience. And 
in for some people who are newcomers who have never played the game, you're going to love it. You're going to get emotionally tear. It's going to be emotionally tear jerker. The performances between Pietro Pascal and Bella Ramsey was phenomenal. They really stayed faithful to who Joel and Ellie is. And I enjoyed their chemistry together. The cinematography was great. The casting was incredible. The, there was some, some intensity in, in, in some points of it that was on the edge of your seat. And it was an emotional too. I still prefer the game a little bit more for different reasons. Maybe it's because I'm a little biased because I love the first game a lot and I was so emotionally attached to it and I played that game so many times. And I also recently played The Last of Us Part 1, the remake that they did recently on the PS5 where they rebuild the gameplay from the ground up. The graphics and the gameplay mechanics are a lot more different, but it's still the same story and the same performances from the original Last of Us game. And I, for those of you who have never played it, who have finished watching the first season, I think you should still go in and play the first game. I think you're going to love it. It's incredible. It's it's such an incredible emotional character-driven story that I was so emotionally attached to with these two characters. Um, and, and, there's, and there are some episodes that they completely altered. Like, for instance, the Bill character from episode three, which a lot of people say that this is their favorite one, in which it was pretty much a standalone episode, which I still love that episode, even though there was some that storyline wasn't quite needed, but I still loved it, and I got choked up, and I thought the actor, uh, I think it's a, his name is Nick Robinson. You guys could correct me if I'm wrong, but he's the guy from um, Parks and Rec. I thought he was terrific as Bill, and, and what they did with this arc was incredible, even though that arc was completely altered and not what I expected from from what I saw in the game, but it was great. Overall, the first season was done right and done justice, and it had a strong end. Even though the finale was a little rushed and it was a lot shorter, I kind of wish it was a little longer, but you know what? It still had a strong finish, and I thought it really paid off. Now, now we know that the season two is already green light, and then they're already moving forward with this story. I'm a little bit nervous because for someone who has played The Last of Us Part Two. I understand a lot of people loved it, and there's a lot of people who did not like it, and I'm kind of one of the people that was a little bit disappointed by the by the second game. Now, look, I'll give you my positives, and I won't go into too much spoilers, but The Last of Us Part Two, the best part of the, movie, uh, the game was the gameplay, the mechanics, the graphics, and the performances, the score was beautiful. I just was not a big fan of the way they've handled the characters and how they changed gears and the story that they went that I did not quite agree with. But you know what? I will still give efforts to Neil Druckmann for doing the best he can for what he did with the sequel and the concept behind it. I understand what he was trying to do. I just simply did not like the execution. And I didn't like, like how they dealt with it. But you know what? From now what we're hearing from Neil Druckmann then in season two, they're going to spread out multiple seasons from the, um, the Last of Us Part Two storyline, which was quite interesting. It seems to me that Neil Druckmann kind of wants to lean towards more focus on the show and not work on The Last of Us Part Three storyline, which if you played The Last of Us Part Two towards the end, I'm not going to spoil anything. I won't ruin it for you guys who have not played the game. But it seems to me it, it looked like it didn't know where it wanted to go, and it kind of feels like that they ended the, the story with with the characters. And I feel like, where can they go after this? How are you going to continue the story in part three? And it kind of seems like there's a sign that doesn't look like he has any interest in doing part three. It kind of feels like he wants to focus more on the Last of Us series since now it's been a big successful for HBO. But and I and from what I and I do know that they're going to do an online multiplayer game for The Last of Us as a separate storyline, which I'm excited to see where what they're going to do with it. But I'm still a little bit nervous going into season two, but I'll still give it a chance, and I hope that they do a better job in, in the, the show than they did in the, the Last of Us Part Two game. Now, for those of you who have already seen the show, what did you think? Did you really loved it? Did it really live up to your expectations? Or were you someone who, what that the show wasn't made for you and you were a little disappointed by it? Just jump down in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts on The Last of Us Season 1. And if you really enjoyed my review, hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos on my TikTok, go and follow my page.